first speaker will be Rahul Botts, and his evaluator is Bill Dyer. So let's welcome Bill. Go! Toastmasters, guests, viewers at home. Tonight I'll be evaluating Raul on his speech number three, Get to the Point. So he has a specific set of objectives that we'll be listening for. Select a speech topic and determine its general and specific purposes. Organize a speech in a manner that best achieves its purposes. Ensure the beginning, the body, the conclusion, reinforce the purpose. And project sincerity and conviction and control nervousness that he may feel. And strive not to use notes. Raul comes from India. He was born in one of the most ancient cities in the world, called Ujjain. His journey of life from the town of Ujjain to Fairfield, Iowa, where he came to study computer science, taught him something about life, which is what is going, he is going to share with us tonight in his speech. Life is too short. Enjoy it while you can. We have seen some great losses in humanity over the past few days and in this month in general. Steve Jobs one of the most inspirational people in my life just passed away. What I learned with all that is what I'm going to share. Good evening, friends, fellow Toastmasters, guests, and viewers at home. I'm going to share something about my life, which I learned in my short journey, and which I learned while watching others who were really inspirational to me in my life. The biggest thing that I learned in my life, in my very short journey, is that life is very short. And sometimes we tend to forget that it is short and tend to run in the race of life in order to compete compete and compete. What that competition draws out of us is tension, stress, and a mere frustration which often ends up in you losing your most valuable part of life which are your loved ones, your health, your hobbies, your nature, the enjoyment, all these great qualities of life which we tend to forget. One of the greatest motivational youth icon in India once wrote that this life is about taking what comes your way and making the best use of it. In your life, you'll come across lot many things where you have to be selective and understand what's it that you really need and what is it that you don't. There's no point in getting a promotion if you are breaking up with your spouse on that very same day. There's no point in driving a car if your back hurts. There's no point in missing out on a friend for something which doesn't even matter to you in your life in general.
to add to this part, always remember that this life of us is a gift given to us by God that we need to enjoy. We need to really, really utilize it and serve it to the God of others. In our lifetime, which I'll put it to be 50 years, we have about 50 weeks in each year. So that means you have 2,500 weekends to enjoy. Where do you get that time? How many of us can really say that they get to do what they really wanted to do in their life and not just be bogged down with the in tremendous amount of stress, peer pressure, and pressure from work to stay co competitive in this life. One of the best movies that I've ever watched is based on the novel written by the same great author, Chetan Bhagat. It's called Three Idiots. And the best part of it was that the day you were born, there was a race in sperms to get to the egg to hatch it so that you can born. And that race continues throughout your life. You're 10 told and asked to be the best, to excel, to always, always be ahead of everyone else. But in doing that, what you forget are those small little moments of your life which you could have enjoyed better had you not been under the pressure. The life, my friends, is something that you should realize is to enjoy that beauty which is there in this world and to serve that beauty. That beauty could be in anything. It could be in the nature. It could be in the person surrounding you. How many of you can say very proudly that you know your neighbors more than you know what is it at your work? How many of you could ever say that you give enough time to your loved ones and not to <coughs> something which would one day be regarded as Gone. Gone. Gone for good. To make my point clear, everything that we do in this life goes with our life. What remains is what impression you left on the heart of others. This life is an aggregate sum of all those small, precious, wonderful little, wonderful little moments which you shared with your friends, your loved ones. To conclude in the very end, I'd only like to say, in this life, it's not required to be serious. Be sincere, never be serious. Life is too short. Enjoy while it lasts. Thank you.